Hey everybody, welcome back to Live at the Limmy. Tonight, we're gonna to take a look at this. It came in the mail today, and this is the part of my old camera gear display. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more about that, it should be right there in the top right corner. And uh, go ahead and give that one a click and check that out first. But if you've already seen that, this is going to be uh, the display case that the cameras are going to sit in. So, um, why don't we get into this and open this up and see what it looks like. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know what they say. Let's do this. <laughs> Mirrorless uh, camera, which is my M3. This was uh, a gift a couple Christmases ago. You know, India taking photos, Japan taking photos and so forth. So it's done me really well. And um, I don't use it as much anymore because I have uh, the Canon R. And so I use that primarily uh, along with some of my uh, cinema cameras uh, since I do more videos and stills these days. But you know, I do want to protect these. I want to keep them nice. Um, I've had a lot of these for a good while. And so I don't want to necessarily um, have them ruined. So like this one is 5D Mark II. I'll probably still use for stills photos. Uh, it's got a great sensor. It works really well. Uh, and so that's um, the purpose of the box is to store these cameras off so that they stay dust free and uh, I do want to still view them and look at them. I like how cameras look. I'll probably display some of these with some of the lenses. So let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and open up this box here. And, uh, seating, seated position, seated position. <laughs> so go ahead and get this one open. And let's see what we have in here. So this I ordered off of Amazon. And let's see here. It has two smaller boxes inside. So go ahead and move these out right now. And go ahead and get the big box out of them. And let's see here. It has this box contains an assembly hammer. Please start assembling from this box first so that you can use the assembly hammer to assemble more shoebox more easily. So these are sneaker display cases and hopefully uh, if things go right, I will be able to put the cameras in each and potentially have um, space to, you know, put maybe lenses or some other display elements in the cases. So um, get this open first. And of course, lo and behold, it's going to have styrofoam. Oh, I hate styrofoam. I hate styrofoam with a passion. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, these are pretty cool. And uh, here's the hammer they were talking about. Right here. Oh, can't see it because of this. But yeah, there's that hammer that we were talking about. And stickers, and this is called a Sogo box. I guess it has little stickers included. And a VIP card, so this is, see that or not, um, what it's supposed to look like in there. And so, and it shows you how to put it all together. So I guess you put each one of these elements together individually and then stack them together. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just take a look at one of these to start. So let me go ahead and get this going here. Um, I'm sort of unsure what these pieces are. It has assembly instructions here, so let's go ahead and read this. And I need my Nifty Wizard opener again because I gotta get the stuff open here. Stuff off. Get my 
hammer up. Hammer all night. So these, which again, I'm completely and totally unsure what those are for. These little brackets and so forth. See that little bracket? Let's see here. Let's see if we focus in on it. Trick it. It's not doing it quite well enough, but is that what happens when you have high focus tracking on? Eye tracking. So. Let's just take one of these to start with. So, we open this up and hopefully this doesn't scratch my, my top here off too much. But. You can buy them individually for like 10 bucks or so, or as a set. So, look at this, you're supposed to pop these guys off so that the plates come apart. Most of these plates are broken already. Hopefully you don't need them. You do, they're not gonna work very well. So, all right, here's a little glass plate. There. Here's these pieces. So, top, bottom, and sides. Go ahead and open this up a little bit. Like so. Gotta be very careful about all of the plastic that I'm taking off because my cats have a bad habit of eating plastic. So, everywhere in our house, we have to make sure that we protect anything that's plastic on it. And this, I'm guessing, it has film covering to make it look nice. So one, two, three, and four. And then this is the one with the case handle is the last one. I'm not really seeing the case handle. I guess this. Alright. Here's this. It's Open this up. Get this going. Make sure I'm not going through all my batteries. Everything else here. Cats can just drink The first one's done, and I gotta say, that was an epic pain in the butt. Um, so I still have to put on a little side door here, which goes over here, and you just click it shut, and then it will be accessible, so you can pull it down and get to the gear inside. So, um, theoretically what this is going to look like is, let me go ahead and close this up. Let me go get a camera and I'll show you what it looks like with everything put together. I've got my original 5D with a uh, battery grip on it and I'm going to put it inside the case here. So let's pull down the door here, you tuck it in, split how you want. And for purposes of um, display, got a little kit lens here that you know, obviously I'm not using. Um, it's an EFS, so it doesn't really work with the um, 5D anyways, but you go ahead and put that in there like that. And then um, I will take the plastic off the side one but this is basically what we're going for and we go ahead and put the instructions behind it um, so we see what we're looking at here so uh, there's eight of these now they're fairly large they're a little bit larger than I thought they would be now they're meant for holding sneakers and large sneakers at that but I think all in all this is good and 
if I throw like some lighting behind it or do some uh, something to sort of pop it up a little bit and make it a little bit more um, presentable, then it's going to look pretty sharp. So I like this. And the first box is done. And now I just got to build seven more. And hammering these little things together with this little hammer is not the easiest thing in the world. All right. So I'm going to continue to build these out and uh, put them together. Once I get to a final state where the cameras are in the boxes, I will post a follow-up video and show you how it went. So if you liked this uh, video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you could catch the follow-up of the adventure of putting our gear in boxes. All right, have a good one.